So that's why on a wild camp, so far I have done a few little scrambles. If you look at me. <coughs> I'm in Coniston. I'm going to catch the last bit of snow in a tent. <clears throat> but I've elected to walk up the first bit of the Warner Scar Road and then across. Um, instead of going up the Copper Mines, I'm going to come down Copper Mines probably. But, uh, the good thing about today is, and the good thing about wild camps in general, is you head in a direction, have a load of potentials, and then just pick what you want to do on the way. But we'll see. Once we get up higher, I'll show you the possibles. But let's get moving. Got a slog up here for a little bit. I've come up this road many times in the car, and that's probably why I never spotted that. There's a mine over there. It's got water in it, so I'm not going in. And this is going to take me a while. So uh, I'm not doing diversions until I get to the flat bit. But you can start to see. What conditions we've got. Beautiful. Onwards and upwards. <laughs> I uh, came up here a couple of weeks back when I did my Hodge Close Quarry and the Cathedral Caves film. <coughs> um, and we actually parked up here, just walked along here with dogs, and I thought there's so many places I've got to, I've got to come back. Jaggedy bits. I mean, to be honest, you know, I thought even some of these would be really nice to camp on. But I'm going to push on probably past Levers Water and then I'm tempted actually to go to the right and not back over the old man. But we'll see. I just want to go where it looks best for the conditions and the camp. Total flexibility. Um, yeah, it's beautiful out. Because the lakes in these conditions, they just look stunning. Although I hear you shout, they always look stunning. Oh, I turned my ankle on the way up. So I'm trying to walk past that. That's the, uh, the valley down there, they dug up all them policemen. Copper Mines Valley. Uh, I like this walk. It's sort of like up, you get the height gain on the road, and then you do a traverse across here, over that bluff over there, where that path goes up to, sort of meets. And then, I should make my mind up. Do I turn left or do I turn right? Beautiful. Woo! These uh, Simon trousers are brilliant because they've got a really good gaiter in them. They're waterproof. I can only wear them in this sort of weather or cold, they're too warm normally. Um, well, I say they're too warm, it's because I've, I've got something underneath them. Oh, 
I was so close to not coming today. And look at it. This is just stunning. It's stunning. I'm not getting very far. I just keep stopping <laughs> to uh, look about. But uh, yeah, wow. <clears throat> Absolutely beautiful. Not needed the spikes yet, but I've got them probably up there. I'm guessing the path might be a bit more icy. But uh, anyway, let's get on with it. Won't be long, we'll be up to the tarn or levels of water. But uh, contrast against the sun. The gill over there is pretty frozen, there's a bit of running water in it, but there's a lot of ice in there if you can see in that blob up the top from the other small tarn up the top. Wow. Pretty easy underfoot because there's no there's no real ice, it's just the snow, uh, but it's so hot. Oh, look at the Pennines over there. And the Howgills just round the corner look really white when I came up the uh, motorway. I was almost tempted because I've never been on them and they were just absolutely thick, thick with it. Trouble is, when you only manage a few trips when it's wintry, it's like a kid in a sweet shop. You just, my mind, there, 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 go there, go there. So I've stuck with the plan. My original plan was just to come to the old man and scout which ridge I wanted to camp on. So even though I saw all these nice things on the way in, I still came here because I thought there's just too many, no matter what one I choose, there's others. Hey you! <laughs> Loving it, aren't ya? So my plan was to go up to the pass and then go left or right. But I think I'm going to go over there, up the ridge and find a spot. There's the top of the old man. A few people on there. Shame I wasn't filming. <laughs> I just managed to fall into a, a ditch that was um, covered in quite a large drift. I was up to my chest <coughs> and uh, so that was fun. <laughs> if you watch any of my films, this, like scrambles, whatever, um, my fun mountain day out has always been um, rather than just a long peak bagging thing it's always just been to do something that interests me to do something where there's a bit of fun on the way hence i got into scrambling um, so i don't just walk up the paths <coughs> and uh, and i don't particularly rush so that's why on a wild camp, so far I have done a few little scrambles. If you look at me, <coughs> if you look at me, um, Great Gable, Pillar, wild camps, I normally do a little bit of a scramble if I can, even though I've got a heavy bag. Uh, <coughs> but, um, I'm making a meal of this. Where was I? Oh. Yeah, so I try, I try and keep 
the things a little bit interesting for me, hopefully for a viewer. <laughs> Look what you're doing, John. There's, there's a wall there with snow banked up into it and I just walked straight into the snow. Um, yeah, so on the wild camp, I want to get either on a peak, on a ridge, or on a ledge with a view. So uh, that's the plan. How beautiful is this place? It looks beautiful like this, doesn't it? Look at the sculpture of windswept snow there. Yeah, well, it's been windy up here, but not tonight. Can't wait to get the drone up and see what this all looks like from the air. <clears throat> so, I'm not sure if this pointy thing will work, but I might put, if I can hold it still enough, I might put something on the screen. But we've got the old banner corners in there in the background. And then the low water's just, the tarn's just up in that dip. Um, this is Brim Fell, which has got a good scramble on it. I've done it, I don't know how many years ago. Uh, and then coming around here, You've got, um, I think this is Swirl, Swirl Ho, and then Carl's is behind. This rock is called the Prison. Now, this, oh, I can't remember what the, this rock here is, but it goes on to Black Sails, which is the one I've looked at on on uh, YouTube this week to possibly camp on. And it goes up to Wetherlam. <coughs> so, um, I'll go up here, there's a nice spot. I'll camp on it. If not, I might go on to Wetherland. <clears throat> don't even know what the time is, so I'm gonna have a look at the time, have a quick drone flight, and then get on me, me way. Because whatever happens, I'm only an hour from the furthest camp, really. <laughs> Enjoyable. That was uh, the view around here from uh, Levers Water. Um, I've lost the sun and it's got extremely chilly all of a sudden, so put my coat on. We go up in, onto this um, Blake, something or other, Quag, up towards Black Sails, and then see where we want to stop. It's going to be a clear night by the looks of things, well, a clear evening. As predicted. Awesome. Absolutely mental, look at this. Scatter range. Smoke fell. Ski dorm, Glen Capra, right over the back there. Glendale's in the middle. Whoa. 
off. It just goes on and on. No doubt there's a few wild campers out tonight. I know of at least one other, or another pair. Uh, yeah, I think Dave's out. Uh, Dave. Yeah. So I'm going to just go check the wind forecast again and then pitch up and I'll show you what's going on. <laughs> Two drivers, put the tent up and I've got a rope on pole. Let's hope it's not too windy tonight. I've got a bivy bag as well as my tent, so and I've got loads and loads of down, so I'm alright. Okay. Look at this song! I wanted to film a lot more, but um, I've lost the feeling in my hand. <laughs> oh dear. Was that beautiful or what? Well, it's going pink out there. I've just come in to get my hand back. It's, um, it has no glove on for a bit too long. So um, I couldn't film any longer. Right, so I've just got to get all my sleeping stuff arranged and then I'll get some food on just gonna have one look outside while it goes it goes pink it's gone it's got a beautiful color out there let's have a look One thing I always seem to struggle with is a tidy tent. It's, it's terrible in there. Look at this though. So good. So good. Yeah, I wonder what the weather's going to do. This looks a bit odd, me, me puffer, me down jacket. It's longer than my coat, but I like this sim and because um, it's, it's nice and long, that's why I like it. I was saying before I was before I was rudely interrupted by a, another dead battery. <laughs> I was saying I like to keep uh, my films about the fun, the experience, just doing it, rather than just talk about gear all the time. But gear is very important. <clears throat> I wouldn't be standing here without some decent gear. I wouldn't be camping without any decent gear, although. Got a broken pole. <clears throat> I don't think it's going to go anywhere. If it does, it'll just sag. <clears throat> All the guys are out. Anyway, look at the sunset. What should we do? <clears throat> I'm not feeling starving yet, so I'm not going to put me um, dinner on for a few minutes. I think I'm going to walk up to the summit. That might be a nice thing. Let's do that.
It's certainly cold, about freezing, but then there's a reasonable wind chill. My hands got cold <coughs> within uh, a very short time. Wow. It's totally clear over the scaffolds and, uh, and both fell over there. Doesn't look like it's got any more snow than here. <coughs> but um, there's definitely more over the Hellvel inside and then the High Street side. There's a lot of snow on the top of them. This is a lovely, lovely summit. Uh, <coughs> Black sails. It's absolutely brilliant because you just, you just can see all of it. Got Wevelham over there. <coughs> um, it's just a brilliant summit. I know it's not one of the biggest or the biggies, but uh, it's awesome. Really nice. Right, so I'm going to get my leg on my down trousers on. I'll, I'll tell you a story about them one day because <laughs> they're not normal. Anyway, I'm starting to feel the cold a little bit, probably because of my legs. So down we go, back to the tent. I'm not going to film now until I'm settled in and eating, and then we'll have a chat in the tent, as that? Take 320. Me, me SD card filled up, I had so many of my old trips in. Anyway, um, I had steak and vegetables, but it's very runny. I don't think I'll be having that one again. I've had it quite a few times, it's never been that bad, but it was really runny. I basically had some steak and then drank the rest. So, uh, that's that. Got a couple of nibbles, but I don't really fancy. I'm just gonna have me wine, um, have a quick walk around the tent, just make sure everything's all right, and then get comfortable. So, when I um, camped on Eel Crag <coughs> by Scaffold Pike uh, a year ago, there was someone on Esk Pike, there was some, someone on Allen Crags, and someone on Great End, and um, I went out in the middle of the night and I could see a couple of lights. It's, it's amazing to think just people are on other hill. I'm having some serious battery problems with my action cam because of the cold. I've um, gone through two. The second one only lasted a few minutes. So, um, yeah, so I've just been flashing, flashing my torch outside and getting a response from Scaffold Pike. So, uh, that's cool. Dave's over there, I'm over here, don't know whether there's anyone on any of the other peaks, I've not seen any lights, but um, yeah, we just flashed at each other, <laughs> and um, that was cool, just, uh, it's funny being on top of a mountain and then seeing in the dark, in the cold, someone's on the top of another mountain, it's quite funny, for some reason. Anyway, um, just going to have a little bit more of my wine. Get into my bag, warm that up. See how the night goes. Catch you later. Hmm, let's see what sort of day we've got, eh? <laughs> it's just stunning. Different again, hardly a breeze. Me and my puppy eye is going to get on some lovely coffee. Yes. There's someone on the here, uh, 
summit of the mountain next door. I'm not sure if he's been up here all night or he's just an early starter. I'm glad it's so still this morning. It's made it a lot easier to cope with the cold. Yeah, really nice. There's the Scarfells again. You know, someone on the summit over there, if you can make him out. <laughs> and there's someone on the summit of the old man as well, over there. Who is that? So I don't know, people ask about why people wild camp, but um yeah, it's just awesome to be still and um see all this when I woke up this morning and there was that bit of fog I did wonder but uh, that's lifted and you can see everything I can see uh, there's one person over on the old man still person coming over this way from Wetherlam anyway so that's the old man well, it's not really the old man, I didn't do the old man, but that's the view of the old man. And um, all its fellows. Well, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna pack the tent up and uh, check the time and then get moving. If it was still foggy, I was just gonna head down, but I'm gonna go over. down. Looks like that'll be a lovely walk. Good weather so got to make the most of it even if my legs say no. Well that's me packed up. Um, I'm a bit later than I expected. Took, a, took myself a while. Wasn't really aware of the time but it's gone 10 now which is not what I normally do. I'm normally away by 8 or something. Anyway, who cares? It's just a lovely position. Uh, won't take me too long to get over Wetherlam and down. So, uh, yeah. No trace as usual, apart from the dents in the snow. I bought it myself a new power bank. Epic fail. It just doesn't work. It's rubbish. So, uh, phone's nearly dead. GoPro type thing is in my bag. I'm trying to keep warm for the last shot, maybe. Uh, and no more drone flights. So, that's a bit of a shame. Anyway, we'll get over to the next summit. Follow me. Oh, got me, got me spikes on. Um, probably don't really need them, but there is some ice this morning. So, uh, there you go. Well, I'm on Wetherlam. And, uh, yeah, it's awesome. Look, I can see down there, you can see the Hodge Close Quarry where I was in one of my last videos. Um, Langdale will seem a bit closer from here. Like a Blisco. I really had forgotten what the Coniston group was like. It's been 20 years since I sort of roamed across these. Um, been to the Scarfell area and um, all that lot. Central Fell is much more regular. Old man a little bit, but uh, all this bit in here, 
the heart of fell over the other side and down the valley. I haven't been there for many years. Be um, reminded of all this lot is good because it uh, means I'll be back. Really need to see me walk down, so I'll, I'll end it here. Here end if the lesson. Stay safe out there. Any comments? Subscribe. Click the like button if you liked it.